we're going to teach you how to properly use a windlass. This is a Maxwell 4500, and pretty much you have your caps in here. You get the, where the chain goes down into the chain locker. You have your chain. You have your stopper here. This is just a security stop. Just to make sure that it doesn't slide back. And then you have your brake here. This is going to brake everything. You can't turn it. Nothing's going to happen without this being released open and this being open as well. All right. Now, what this here is for, this is to, to tighten up the clutch and make sure that it's super that it's tight and it's not going to go anywhere. That's going to allow the chain for you to lift the chain up. Or if you turn it the other way, the chain will actually free spool and go down into, into the water. Whenever the captain's ready to go, he says you're good to go. You're going to want to make sure that your brake is on and you're going to want to take this and spin this opening it up. You always want to remember not to put your hands or feet anywhere around the chain because that'll be that'll turn into a dangerous situation there. Now you just open that up, make sure that's free spool and you're good. Now when you open this here what's going to happen is the chain is just, and the anchor is going to go right into the water. It's going to go straight down we call it free spool. I'll demonstrate that to you now. First we'll take the controller and hook the controller up this is your controller, it's pretty much up and down, pretty simple, basic, easy. You take this male end and then you plug it in here. Like so, some boats have it different places. This one has two anchors, so we're going to work on this one here. First off, before I drop it, I want to make sure that I have the anchors working. Now this is going to spin, but the, anchor's not gonna, the chain's not going to do nothing. See, yeah, there you go. Up and down, that's working fine. You always want to test it first. Now that that's all hooked up and connected, we're going to teach you how to drop the anchor. On a, that whenever the captain's ready to go, you get a call from the captain, the captain say drop the anchor. You drop the anchor, you're just re releasing the brake. That's free spool there. It's on the bottom now. So let's, uh, Go ahead and leave the brake loose. Now when, you, when we're picking up the anchor, say we're at anchor now, captain's ready to go. So he's going to ask you where, what the position of the anchor is going to be. So what you usually do is you get over here in the bow, you look over the bow, find the position of the chain, where the chain's going, and then you point in that direction so that he knows where it's at. And on the radio you'll call him and let him know if it's a long stay or a short stay, or if it's up and down. Long stay being that the anchor anchors at its longest and it's tight. Short stay means it's slack and it's just relaxed. You let him know what the chain is doing, whether it's short stay, long stay, or up and down. If it's up and down, that means you're not seeing the chain go out, you're not seeing it short, and you're seeing it just go straight down to the bottom. Up and down, up and down. I usually get do like this, up, down, up, down, so the way he knows, depending on, you don't want your radio in your hand the whole time when you're trying to do all this stuff either. So, once that's done, and then you have somebody's lifting the anchor. Usually you'll be here, one or two person. One person bringing the anchor up, the other one pointing out in the direction of the anchor. If it's down, you're gonna to wanna to get your anchor ball. All your anchor ball is gonna do is gonna come up here, you can put a big black ball up. They have different types, they have balls, they have different shapes that you're supposed to do, but when you're at anchor, it's one anchor ball. Put your anchor ball up, indicating that you're at anchor. Other people know that you're at anchor, not to that you're not underway or making way. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chain and we're gonna bring the anchor back in. In order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to tighten down your, your capstan. Tighten, tighten it with your hand and then tighten it down with this. And this is gonna allow, this is gonna allow the clutch to engage and you be able to bring your anchor up. Now before you bring your anchor up, depending on where you're at, you usually wanna turn your anchor wash on. Anchor wash is usually salt water hooked up to a pump coming through the hole and then out onto your anchor. Which this boat has one but there's no need to do it because it's salt water and it's going to get everything all dirty. So now make sure everybody's clear, hands are clear, everybody's done. We're going to go ahead and bring this chain in. Make sure that you, you have this. You can put this down. I usually like just to keep it up so it doesn't bang it up. We have our brake is, all, is not tight, it's loose. This is tight and now we'll just bring the anchor up. 
Usually when you're bringing a lot of chain up and into the anchor locker, you want somebody down in the anchor locker and they call it flicking the chain. The chain will pile up, the chain will pile up into a ball and it'll come up so high that this would get stuck up and it no, no longer be going down into the anchor locker. So we'll go ahead and bring this bad boy up. You always want to sort of look over and see where your chains, see where your anchor's at. Now, that you, when you see the anchor, you want to let the captain know that you see the anchor. When the anchor's at waterline, you want to let the captain know that the anchor's at waterline as well. Right now, the anchor's at waterline, so if you tell him anchor's at waterline, usually he'll begin to get, start getting underway. Your anchor is back in. Everything's pretty much done. Uh, before you wrap it up, you want to make sure that your clutch is tight. Again. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is take the weight off of this and just bring it down onto the stopper. So we're just going to bring it out just a little tiny bit. There you go. Weight's off. Now you can put on your brake, tighten, tighten up your brake, and then you're done. <laughs>